the JNET classification, NBI magnifying endoscopic classification of colorectal tumors. Here you can see the history of NBI magnifying endoscopic classification of colorectal tumors in Japan. The Suno classification was the first magnifying NBI classification published in 2006. Based on this classification, several other classifications were proposed, such as the Hiroshima, Showa, and Jikei classifications. To standardize these magnifying NBI classifications, the JNET classification was established in 2014. The JNET classification consists of four categories, JNET type 1, type 2A, type 2B, and type 3. Each type represents the histological features of the polyps, and they are categorized by focusing on two specific features, the vessel pattern and the surface pattern. For example, JNET type 1 corresponds to the histology of hyperplastic or sessile serrated polyps. JNET type 2A refers to low-grade intramucosal neoplasia, mostly adenomas. JNET type 2B basically corresponds to high-grade intramucosal neoplasia or shallow submucosal invasive cancer. And we should note that this category sometimes includes deep submucosal invasive cancer. JNET type 3 represents deep submucosal invasive cancer which requires surgical resection. Now we will present typical cases of each JNET type. JNET type 1 polyps do not have specific patterns of vessels and surface structures, so the vessel pattern is invisible and the surface pattern is similar to normal mucosa. Regular dark and white spots are often observable on the surface. Polyps with such findings are predicted to be hyperplastic or sessile serrated polyps. Here we have a slightly elevated polyp 5 mm in diameter. We cannot see any vessel structures on this polyp. Both regular white spots and dark spots are observable on this polyp. And the surface structure of this lesion has no specific features, and the pattern is similar to the surrounding normal mucosa. Therefore, this lesion is classified as JNET type 1. This polyp was resected by snare polypectomy. The histopathological images on the right-hand side show serrated glands without any dysplastic change, so it is diagnosed as hyperplastic polyp. This case is also a slightly elevated polyp, 12 mm in diameter. These are the typical findings of polypoid lesions for JNET type 2A. Magnifying NBI shows dilated and branched vessels, as well as the regular dark spots in the expanded crypt orifices. These findings are specific to sessile serrated polyps. This polyp was resected by EMR, and the histopathology showed marked dilation of crypts with inverted T-like glands. Also, dilated glands were observed at the bottom so the pathological diagnosis of this lesion was sessile serrated polyp. The basic characteristics of type 2A are regular vessel patterns and regular surface patterns. The regularity of the vessel is judged by focusing on the thickness and distribution of the vessels. Typical regular vessels can be described as well-ordered, reticular, spiral or punctate in form. Type 2A refers to low-grade intramucosal neoplasia. This is a sessile polyp 6 mm in diameter. In magnifying NBI view, tubular and branch structures can be observed on its surface. Moreover, each microvessel has similar thickness and regular distribution, and is spiral in form. These are the typical findings of polypoid lesions for JNET type 2A. EMR was performed on this polyp. The diagnosis for this polyp is tubular adenoma with low-grade dysplasia. This slightly elevated polyp 5 mm in diameter has a shallow central depression, also called valley sign. 
We don't call this polyp depressed type 2C because the depression has a wavy patterned edge and doesn't fall sharply. By zooming in on this lesion, well-ordered reticular or spiral vessels with a regular surface pattern can be observed in the large portion of this polyp. So this lesion is classified as JNET type 2A. We sometimes don't see the vessels clearly at the central depression, but endoscopists should not confuse this finding as JNET type 2B or 3. This polyp was resected by cold snare polypectomy. The histological finding was tubular adenoma with low-grade dysplasia. The vessel feature of JNET type 2B is the irregularity, which means that the calibre of the vessels are variable and their distribution is not regular. In contrast to type 2A, the tubular structure on the surface becomes obscure or irregular. The most likely histology of these polyps is high-grade intramucosal neoplasia or shallow submucosal invasive cancer. JNET type 2B findings may be observable in deep submucosal invasive cancers. Additional magnifying chromoendoscopy is recommended to determine the appropriate treatment strategy of JNET type 2B lesions. Here we present a Cecil lesion 8mm in diameter with a depressed area at the centre. While elevated areas at the edge show regular vessel and surface patterns, the depressed area at the centre has variable calibre, irregular distribution of vessels, and irregular surface structure, so this polyp is classified as JNET type 2B. By staining with crystal violet, type 5I pit patterns in the depressed area and type 3L pit patterns in the elevated area are observable. This sessile lesion was removed by EMR. The histopathological views show well differentiated adenocarcinoma without any submucosal invasion. Finally, JNET type 3 lesions show loose vessel areas and the interruption of thick vessels as a result of the destruction of vessel structures by cancer. Similarly, the surface pattern also becomes amorphous due to the invasion of cancer. JNET type 3 refers to deep submucosal invasive cancer. This is a case in the rectum, and the diameter of this lesion is approximately 40 millimeters. The tumour has a large, thickened, depressed area. This lesion has loose vessel areas and some thick vessels are interrupted. The structure of the surface is destroyed and amorphous. These features are typical for JNET type 3. JNET type 3 lesion is an indication of deep invasive cancer, therefore surgical resection has been chosen for this patient. The histopathological findings revealed moderately differentiated adenocarcinoma with submucosal deep invasion. The invasion depth of the tumour was 4,000 micrometres, so the treatment was appropriate for this case. Since the establishment of the JNET classification, it is expected that image-enhanced endoscopy for colorectal polyps using magnifying endoscopy will spread around the world in the future. To confirm the diagnostic accuracy of this classification in daily practice, many validation studies are waiting to be conducted around the world. As endoscopic technology makes progression day by day, the JNET classification may be updated with the arrival of new or additional NBI findings.